Okay, folks, this is going to be a very quick and lovely dinner. No, I don't mean taking out a box of cereal and pouring milk in it. Um, this is a go-to kind of meal I like. Um, it's very simple. It's very economical. Um, we've got pasta from the dollar store. We've got a little white wine. We've got a lemon. We've got a shallot. I've got a uh, clover garlic heating up in some olive oil over here. And I've got water boiling in the, or attempting to boil in the background. And I'm going to get a little capers from the refrigerator. Here we go. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dice up my shallots real nice and fine. Uh, about a tablespoon for me. Tablespoon, tablespoon and a half for this dish. And as soon as our garlic is browned on all sides, I'll show you in a minute when the garlic comes up. That's when we're going to get ready to throw the capers in. Then we're going to hit it with the white wine, the uh, lemon juice, and the capers. And then when the pasta is done, we're going to take the pasta and we're going to throw it in the pan with that sauce. Then add a little bit of butter and it's going to turn into a beautiful sauce. So right now we're just waiting for our water to boil. We're waiting for the other side of the garlic to look like that clove right there. I hope you can see that. It'll take on a nice roasted garlic flavor. So the oil. We don't want it to burn. It's on very low. I've got it on uh, three. Just so I know it's not going to burn. All right. Um, I'm going to salt the water before I put the pasta in. And then we're going to get going. We're going to boil the pasta for about 10 minutes. And when the pasta is done, and I'm just about ready to get the sauce going, I'll be back to you. So. Um, we'll be back. Okay, our pasta has been cooking for about eight and a half minutes. Um, our garlic roasted very nicely. I put the shallots in here with a little bit of olive oil. Let's bring that back up to temperature because uh, the timer is going to go off any minute now for uh, our pasta, which has been boiling away in some salted water. Um, I'm going to cut a lemon in half. Put that to the side. We're going to start to heat up our sauce here. Our shallots are doing nicely. I'm going to put in like the equivalent of a half a teaspoon of, uh, of the capers. I like a little more, so I'm going to put a little bit more in. It doesn't matter if a little brine gets in there. I happen to like that little salty brine. You can crush these, chop these, leave them whole. Again, it's all up to your own personal preference. Ah, the smell that's coming out off of those papers and that garlic and the shallots is absolutely amazing already. Our pasta is just about ready to come out of there. A couple of seconds more. I'm going to hit this with just a touch, a spidge of the salt because the capers have, are in a salted brine. A little bit of pepper. There's our timer for our pasta. So that means nine minutes is elapsed on the pasta. So really, in all sincerity, this is about a 10, 15 minute meal tops. I'm going to put in our white wine. Stir that all together, get that going. We're going to empty out our water from our pasta. Don't worry if a little water stays behind, because that will just go to help us loosen up the, the sauce a little bit. Again, I'm only doing one serving here. And our pasta, we want it to be a little, a little firm coming out of the water about now. Normally you cook this pasta till it's about 
9 or 13 minutes. So that pasta still has another minute or two left in cooking. And I want it that way because I want it to cook in the sauce. So let's bring the sauce up to a higher temperature because I want it to reduce kind of quick. I'm going to hit it with half of the, of the lemon. Um, hold it up like this so that the seeds, see the seeds up top? You can go through and pick the seeds out. I do it like this, into my hand, this way the seeds don't go into the dish. And you get all the lemon juice and none of the seeds. Beautiful. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And when we see that that, all that pasta water and the uh, and the wine and the, is almost all dissipated. That's why I'm going to hit this with a little bit of butter. You can hear it. You can, you can hear it. You can hear the sauce as it starts to tighten up. You can hear the bubbles popping. So, yes, I'm, I'm one of those cooks that cooks by sound and smell and, uh, and of course, taste. You hear the more bubbles popping, the more bubbles popping means the, the sauce is reducing, it's tightening up. I'm going to put our butter in. Which is going to add a beautiful sheen to this pasta. You can almost hear that there's almost no liquid. But there's still plenty. You'll see in a second. There's plenty of liquid there. It's now coated every piece of the pasta. It's cooked in, inside of it a little bit. Our butter's completely melted. And there you have it. I'll show it to you in a second. A beautiful dish. Pasta with shallots, garlic, white wine, and capers. It's really a beautiful dish. Let me get you in so you can see it. There you have it. And now again, on to my favorite portion of the program. Do you see that sauce? I mean, it's coating my fork. Look at that. It's coating the pasta absolutely perfectly. And mm. velvety smooth. Citrusy. That bite of the capers. Um, it's absolutely deli delicious. Um, you got to spare 20 minutes. For Go ahead and make it for yourself. This is a really good dish. Uh, I'll see you next time. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye.